Now, before we start this video, let me just give you guys a quick peek at the latest version of the Firestick Debloat tool. Now, for people that don't know, I covered this in a previous video, and this tool basically allows you to stop or disable background processes on your Amazon device. Now, the benefit of that is, is you end up having so much more free memory, and the more free memory that you have on your device, typically you will see better performance. Now, the latest version of this tool really does have some great features compared to the first release. Like for example, now, as soon as you start the tool, it does a scan automatically to tell you exactly which processes are already disabled and which ones are still enabled. And we can see here, for example, these two processes are disabled. This one here is still enabled. And if I want to disable that, I can just click on that, go at the top, click on the play button, and that will then go ahead and freeze that process. So that video should be out in the next few days. Make sure you are subscribed. So a few days ago, I posted a video on how you can use an application called Live Channels to aggregate all of your live TV content into a single application. Now I did my demonstration on the 4K Fire Stick and as we saw in the video, the application works great. However, after posting the video, lots of you on older devices like the second generation Fire TV that we can see on the screen at the moment, when you guys try to install the application, you would see an error saying there is a problem passing the package. Now also some of you using the second generation Fire TV Cube, when you try to install the application, although the application installed okay, when you try to launch the application, as we can see now, the application launches, but then instantly closes. Now, what's the reason for this? Well, what we have to understand here is, is that each of those devices, the 4K Fire Stick, the second generation Fire TV, and the later second generation Fire TV Cube are all running completely different versions of Android. Now, different versions of Android means that we have different features, we have different permissions, something that may be allowed in Android 7 may not be allowed in Android 9 and so on and so forth. So, in this video today, let me show you a great application we can use on all of our devices, old Amazon devices, new Amazon devices, to give us a really good breakdown and detailed summary about the exact hardware in our Amazon device, the features that the hardware supports, and of course, the Android version. So make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so let's start with the oldest device. And in my example, I'm going to use the second generation Fire TV. Now the application that's going to provide us with all of that information, all of that good stuff is called Informa. Now this application is available on the normal Amazon App Store. So let's search for that now. Informa, click on Informa. Now this application was actually made by the same person that made the downloader application, which is AFTV News, so you know you are in good hands. Let's click on that. And as soon as you start the application, it will do a quick scan of your hardware. It will identify what device you have and then show you all of the hardware and software features that it supports. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so a couple of things to look at. So this is the second generation Fire TV. Now the key thing to look at when you first open up this application is to see which version of Fire OS you're running. Now, as we can see here, this device, as it is quite old, is running Fire OS 5. Now Fire OS 5 is based on Android 5. It might be Android 5.1, but by the time this video goes out, I will mention it on the screen. But it's definitely Android 5. And that is a very old version of Android, which is one of the number one reasons why certain applications just don't work on these older devices because of that old Android version. But just so we can also see here, for example, this is running the MediaTek 8173 quad-core CPU. Now, I have said this so many times, guys, this device is still a beast even in 2020 and the single core performance of this device beats pretty much every device. And I think it gets fairly close to the new Nvidia Shield Pro in that single core performance. We can see our device has two gigs of RAM with eight gigs of storage. Now, another great thing we can see straight away is that on this device, because it does have a micro SD card slot, we can easily expand that internal storage up to 128 gig. That means if I do want to install more applications or sideload more applications, I don't have to be concerned about the eight gigs of storage we have on board. I can just plug in a micro SD card, the device will automatically recognize it and then allow me to expand that storage to it. So definitely in terms of expanding storage, it's very easy on this device compared to the 4K Fire Stick. 
Now over here you'll see some of the video and audio codecs supported on this device. And once again, because this device came out in 2015, it's not gonna have some of the new features you have on some of the recent devices, things like HDR or Dolby Vision or HDR10. If you are using official services like Netflix or Prime Video, you just won't get those latest features on these older devices. And another thing we can see here, guys, is that this does have onboard Ethernet. So this is one of the other reasons why I think this device is such a beast. And in fact, in my opinion, one of the best devices ever made from Amazon because we have amazing CPU, we have easy expanding storage, we have proper Ethernet, none of these funny adapters. Ethernet is actually built on board. So, so many great features, but just let down by the fact that it is running such an old version of Android. Now, in case you're wondering why the devices from Amazon are also running Fire OS 5, and I'll just put them on the screen now. So all of these devices, even some of these devices that came out in 2017 are all running Fire OS 5, which once again is Android 5. Okay, so that's enough for this old device. Let's now move on to the 4K Fire Stick. And let me just take this opportunity to give a massive thanks to all of the new members on my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm I'm doing a special promotion for the first 25 members of my channel whereby all of you will be able to join my private chat group and in this chat group we can talk about stuff we can provide support to each other and we can also share our apks so if that sounds of interest to you do have a look out for the join button Thank you. Okay, so here is the Informer application running on the 4K Fire Stick. So as everyone knows, 4K Fire Stick, one of the most popular devices from Amazon, great features with pretty good performance. It supports HDR, supports Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, and some of the other stuff that we saw with the previous device. Now, CPU wise, it is running a much slower CPU compared to the second generation Fire TV. This only has one and a half gigs RAM. And in terms of storage, we once again have eight. And although it says here that external storage is not officially supported, as we know with some of our previous videos, you can expand the internal storage by using an OTG cable and a USB drive, but it's definitely not as easy as the second generation Fi TV or even the latest Fi TV cube. It does support AC Wi-Fi. If you want to use Ethernet, you do have to use an adapter. Now, the key thing we can see here, guys, is this operating system is Fi OS 6. Now this is actually Android 7.1, so a lot newer than the previous Fire OS 5 devices. Now talking of Fire OS 6, these are all of the other devices currently out in the market that also run the same version of the operating system. Like for example, some of those TVs from Toshiba and from Grundig are actually running Fire OS 6, which once again is Android 7.1 and Android 7.1 will give you more compatibility with your applications compared to the older Fire OS 5 devices. And just over here, we can confirm that we do get HDR10, we get Dolby Vision, and for audio down here, we can see this does support Dolby Atmos. So once again, I will just say for lots of people, this really is a fantastic device. I just wish that they made the process to expand the story just a little bit easier, and they also gave you proper hardwired ethernet. Okay, so that's the 4K Fire Stick. Let's now jump on to the latest Fire TV Cube second generation. Okay, so this is the latest second generation Fire TV Cube from Amazon. It was released in October 2019. And just look at these specs, guys. It's got six core CPU. It's got a very fast GPU. You get two gigs RAM. And finally, we get some decent or fairly decent compared to the other devices, internal storage, which is 16 gig. But at the same time, we can easily expand the storage by just using an OTG cable. So as soon as you plug an OTG cable in with a USB drive, you get the prompt asking you, do you want to expand the storage or do you want to make this USB drive as part of your internal storage? So no need for ADB or any kind of commands. It's all built into the operating system. And you can even see how much space you have on the USB drive, which is acting as internal storage and again we have ethernet but with an adapter now i really don't understand for a device that came out in 2019 for a device costing about 100 pounds why would they not include a proper ethernet port especially at this price point i think amazon definitely made a mistake with this one and i do hope for future devices especially ones costing this much they do have a built-in ethernet port as standard now the key thing we can see here regarding the version is this is Fire OS 7 and this is actually Android 9. So out of all of the Amazon devices, this is running the latest version of Android available to Amazon devices, which is Android 9. Let me also show you, these are all the other devices also running Fire OS 7. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, certain applications like the Live Channels applications just don't work on this device because it is running that later version of Android. So that is always something to bear in mind. 
Over here we can see this does support pretty much all of the latest standards are supported on this newer device. Well, that's all for this video guys. Many thanks for watching. I do think that the Informer application is a very good application and it really will help you understand exactly what's on your device and what your device supports. So do let me know what you think about this application. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.